Hi, this is Christopher Sutton, the founder and director of Musical U, and I'd love to share with you what's new in Musical U this month. This month we added a new quiz system to our chord recognition module. We also have a new active listening challenge for our members to test their ears with. One of our members started a fun new solfa game, and we had two interviews with members of the team so you can get to know them a little better. Let's dive in! So we've been developing a new quiz system at Musical U to help uh, training be more interactive and fun, and we introduced it last month for our interval modules. This month we added it to our chord recognition triads module, which is one of several modules that help you learn to recognize different types of chord by ear. We've always had a quiz on this module to help members learn to recognize types of triad chord, but this new system is a lot more fluid, it's a lot more fun, it gives you better feedback along the way, so it's just a lot more effective and enjoyable for learning these chord types. Let's give it a look. So it's a simple quiz, it plays the chord for you and then you have to answer, in this case, whether it's major or minor. If you get the answer wrong, you have the chance to compare the right and wrong answers. So in this case, major was wrong, and we can click to hear what the major version would sound like. And then we can compare it with the minor chord. So this is a, a fun and flexible way to gradually train your ears to tell the four types of triad chord apart. The next new thing we introduced at Musical U this month was a new mini challenge. We organize these regularly for our members as fun ways to apply the skills they've been developing. Uh, our community conductor Stuart decided that this one would be an active listening challenge. So the aim was to test your ability to really listen to music, not just hear it, but to pick apart what's happening in the music by ear. And he chose a classic Beach Boys song and challenged members to identify just how many different instruments and vocal parts there are on this particular Beach Boys recording. So this is a fun one and we had some good entries from members and a lot of discussion behind the scenes of what people could and couldn't hear in this track. Lots of our members at Musical U are developing their relative pitch using the Solfa framework, the Do Re Mi system, where each note has a name. And this month, one of our members, Roger, posted a fun game, a challenge for other members, which uh, was about trying to figure out what song he was giving the sulfur for. So he provided the sulfur, and he asked members, what song is this? So this was great fun, and we had lots of members guessing and posting their own little puzzles and challenges. And I think this is one that will continue week by week, because it's just a great way to test your sulfur skills um, in a, a real-world kind of way, to try and look at just the, the written-down sulfur and imagine in your head how it should sound like. Uh, that's a great way to really bring the sulfur to life and develop the other side of recognizing notes by ear, which is to be able to look at sheet music or, or uh, written sulfur notation and vividly hear in your head how that music would sound. The final bit of news this month was the continuation of our Meet the Team series. We kicked this off last month uh, actually with an interview with me, all about my musical background and how I came to start Easy Ear Training and Musical U. And this month we published two new installments, one with Marissa Balistreri, who is our communications manager. Uh, she's responsible for all the great stuff you see on Facebook from the Easy Ear Training account and on Twitter too. Um, and she's a former professional opera singer, so she has a fascinating story of her musical experiences and her career in music before joining the Musical U team. And also Stuart Hilton, who I mentioned earlier because he's our community conductor inside Musical U. Um, he's a guitar player by trade and has a background in Christian rock as well as metal. Um, and both interviews are just really fun ways to get to know our team a little bit more. Um, you know, they're passionate musicians just like me and you. So um, do dig in if you haven't already. Head over to the Musical You blog where you will find those two interviews with Stuart and Marissa. So that's what's new in Musical You this month. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you inside soon.